Okay, fans, this is Cameron Buford here to wrap up the Jaguars versus the Chargers. The Jaguar flew over 2,200 miles to get here from Jacksonville to LA, SoFi Stadium. We're here wrapping things up. They've already kind of changed the things into uh, the Rams Stadium because the Rams play here tomorrow night. So I don't know if you can see it. They've already taken the Chargers logo off the field. You see the Rams logos uh, being promoted here on the video boards. But today was the Chargers' first win in the SoFi Stadium here in Inglewood, California. Pretty amazing. It was the first win in SoFi Stadium. It was also Justin Herbert's first win here at the stadium. Big game he had. He, again, continued to put up big numbers. Their defense played a lot of uh, a big part of it. For the first time this season, the Chargers scored 21 points in the third quarter after giving them 21 points unanswered points of the Jacksonville Jaguars found, they found themselves down and then they responded with 21 uh, points in the third quarter showed the resiliency that the coach uh, Anthony Lynn has been talking about the team has inside them over the last four weeks but they just haven't got a W now albeit they played Tom Brady Patrick Mahomes um, and Drew Brees all Super Bowl champions Justin Herbert has been going back and forth with those guys but well, let me tell you some things that Justin Herbert's been doing, regardless of who the competition he's been playing against. Five games in a row, he's thrown over 250 yards uh, passing. That's an NFL record. That's the second guy to do that. The second guy to do that. Second quarterback in history to pass for three TDs in three consecutive games. There's only been one quarterback to do that, the guy down in Houston. The only quarterback to do that. And then... In five straight starts, in five straight starts, Herbert's been spectacular, having over a hundred percent, a hundred percent passer rating. So Justin Herbert's been absolutely the truth. Today he got some help from the defense. They recorded no, um, no completions in the first quarter of the game, for the first time or the ninth time they did that in team history. And they have a young rookie linebacker on the team, Kenneth Murray, recorded his. 42nd tackle and that's giving him um, the league or not the league history but his team hit that makes team history first time the guy had 42 tackles in his first six games that's that's team history so the Chargers have been, has been showing they're they're coming they're coming they're coming they got a big win today they, they needed this win today now they're two and four to kind of get off the snide you can tell in the locker rooms there was a lot of um, a lot of joy in in, in Exhilaration after their first win. You even see Coach Lynn uh, crack a smile today. So you guys will see some of those videos a little late, later. Again, follow me, Cameron Buford, Voice of the Fans on YouTube. That's my YouTube page. Voice of the Fans on, on Facebook. Voice of Fans on Instagram. What's good in sport on Twitter. You follow me at all my platforms. You're going to get consistent NFL content along with NBA content when we get when NBA gets back going. As you can see. If the Dodgers game is going on in the background, we might have some stuff to cover the Dodgers here shortly. But again, follow your boy, Cameron Buford, What's Good in Sport on Twitter, Voice of Fans on Instagram, Voice of the Fans on YouTube, Voice of Fans on the Facebook page. Thank you guys for your time. Please give me some suggestions. Let me know what you guys are interested in talking about because I got NFL content to, uh, coming out the wazoo for you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, thank you for making our voice your choice.